After Tuesday night's performance, Connor McDavid is nearing the top of the all-time playoff points list. I mean, do you think that regardless of whether Edmonton wins or loses this series, is Connor McDavid your Conn Smythe winner? Absolutely. He's my favorite right now. And look, there's still a lot of hockey to be played, game six, and hopefully, if you're an Oilers fan, game seven. And it may be decided then, but right now, Connor McDavid is the leader in the clubhouse. You talk about the points. He's already beaten Gretzky's assist record in the playoffs. He's five points behind Wayne Gretzky for the most points in a playoff year, which would be unbelievable. He's got 25 even strength points, which is seven more than the next player behind him. That's Evan Bouchard with 18. He has 11 points in the finals which is already right then. It's not the MVP of the final. It's the MVP of the play playoffs. But he's already showing that he's the best player in the finals. So for me, it's all about Conor McDavid. He's the best player in the world. And he's been the best player in the playoffs. And regardless of if the Oilers win or lose game six and then game seven, I still say Conor McDavid is the Conn Smythe winner because they were able to win game four and game five and push it to a game six all on his back. The 2014 Los Angeles Kings were the last team to battle back from being down three games to none and win a playoff series. Now, the Oilers are two wins away. Marty, how confident are you in the Oilers forcing a game seven? Not winning the cup, but at least winning game six and moving this thing back to Florida. I'm very, very confident. But listen, Jen, this is going to be the toughest game of all playoffs for the Edmonton Oilers. Game four and game five, you can say their backs against the wall. Uh, you know, they have nothing to lose. It's a pipe dream to come back. They're playing with house money, and it's all true. But now the pressure is on. If you said to yourself, okay, they'll win game five, come back, win game six at home, and go to Florida for game seven, it's very likely to happen now because they only have to think about winning one game. But there's a big difference between winning game four and five and now pushing it to a seven game. So... Yeah, I, I'm very confident, and the, the owners should be confident themselves, but you can't overlook game six. You can't think that halfway in the game, you're up by a goal. This is great. We're going to go to game seven. Mentally, you have to be so strong to stay in the moment and win that one game. I think they did it for two, but this one is going to be a lot harder to get done at home ice on game six. Only one team has won the Stanley Cup after being down three games to none, and they are... The 42 Maple Leafs, Jen. You 42 know Leafs. it, Marty. You know it. The Oilers <laughs> trying to add their names to that very short list.